What's going on guys? Today I have another lineup video for you guys. My team has improved dramatically if you ask me. I'm at that point in Mutt where like my team finally reached this point. Like I feel like I don't have any needs. Like every position I upgrade from, from here on out is just a luxury. Like I have no weaknesses in my opinion. Like every, every position I have is good but I can upgrade but I don't need to. So I'm going to go over players that I haven't gone before or the new players pretty much. And yeah, let's get started. Um, I got this Anthony Munoz for a really good price. I got him for like about 43k. R I really like his pass blocking and his impact blocking and his run blocking. He's not the most athletic card, but he's strong and just a really good left tackle, if you ask me. He goes for about 70k, so. And actually, we just have, honestly, the, the best center in the game. Like, he only goes for 100k and he's the best center. You know, great strength, run block, and impact block. Just There's nothing wrong with this card. Definitely someone you want to have in the middle of your offensive line. Help get that push up front. And next, we have one of the more underrated cards, in my opinion. This Andrews Pete, I got him for about 50k. Um, I've compared to my 90 Jake Matthews, who I really wanted to replace. He beat him in everything. And if you look at this card, it's really not that bad. He goes for about 50k. Right tackles are generally pretty expensive. 50k being about the cheapest they they'll go for. Besides Sebastian Vollmer, but I don't think that card's good. But he has, you know, 94 run block, 96 pass block, and 93 impact block. It's always good speed, agility, and acceleration, and, and good strength. Now, if I don't, I don't want to spend like you know 150k on Dan Deerdorf, so I really liked um, this pickup for many reasons. Oh, by the way, guys, my receivers. I'm looking to upgrade them, but receivers are, are another really expensive position. Like that, if I had one weakness on my team, it would be my receivers, not Isaac Bruce, but two, my two outside receivers. Um, I'm, I need to find some new receivers, and I might. I'll, I'm just looking around right now. Maybe I'll pick some up soon. Next, we have this Isaac Bruce. I replaced Antonio Brown with him. I really like um, him because he has good speed, catching, elusiveness, spec catch, just, you know, everything. Especially 98 catch and traffic. I really like that. But in the slot receivers, I look for good Excel, you know, 97 Excel, and good after the catch stats. And he has 97 juke move and 90 spin move and 90 ball carrier vision. Ball carrier vision. I, I like that. So, yeah. Let's move on to my defense. I have a lot of... Big upgrades on here, as you guys will see momentarily. Ooh, now let's get started on my defense. Well, let's just start with uh, with my smaller upgrades. I replaced my Xavier Road with this 95 Joe Hayden. I like Joe Hayden because he has good man coverage as well as some good catching and press coverage. And decent zone, like that's important. And he's not slow either. So I really like this card. And um, just he's, a, more of a, he's just a really good coverage corner, if you ask me. Now, my last video, I mentioned that I have a really good budget safety. This guy goes for about 20k, but I really like him because a lot of safeties that are strong safeties that are, you know, not 150k don't have good zone, but they have really good hit power. And this guy is kind of a little medium with both of them. I really like his acceleration, and um, his 6'4 height is pretty huge for me too. But he has 93 zone. A lot of safeties have like low 80 zone, and it's really, I feel, a liability. But he also has 92 hit power. And he's, but he's 6'4", and he also has 81 catch and um, 91 jump and 80 tackle. So really like this card. You guys need a budget guy and you don't want to spend like, you know, 110 can on 97 like Ronnie Lott. Definitely re recommend picking this guy up. He's made some nice plays for me. I'm not sure how to say his name. George Iloka, maybe. But yeah, 94 on the Bengals. Now let's look at this beast I picked up at free safety for 160,000 coins. <laughs> this 99 Harrison Smith. I love him because of his zone coverage as well as his play rec and his height and his hit power. Definitely a playmaker for me on the back end. And um, I don't really have any plans to get rid of him. 160k is probably the cheapest you'll find a 99 free safety for. So really liking this pickup. Now here, before I had a one point less, I had 95 um, Luke Keekley. And you might be like, oh, wow, why get a one point upgrade? As well as I got this guy for about 60k, sold Keekley for 20, so that's... I lost 40k and upgrading one point, but this guy plays so much better than Keekly for me. Um, I had Keekly for like a couple weeks, and I think I got like maybe one user pick with him. The first day I had this card, I got two user picks in like three or four games. Definitely, like I don't, it doesn't really matter if a card plays a lot better for you. You just gotta get it. So that's how I viewed it, and he played a lot better for me, and I really like this card. CJ Mosley, 60k. I was looking at Ryan Shazier, but. I was like, you know what, I don't want to spend 100, like 10k on a 97, so let's just get the CJ Mosley, and I did. 
Now next, we have this James Harrison. I really, really... This guy is my biggest noticeable upgrade on my defense. I had Jamie Collins before, you know, a fast coverage linebacker. This guy only has 80 zone, but I don't really notice a coverage drop-off. I feel like his main stats are, like, upgraded my team over Jamie Collins. He has 95 play rec and 93 strength and 93 block shed. Jamie Collins couldn't get off blocks like that. And this guy, I've noticed my biggest upgrade in is in the run defense. This guy gets off blocks and then he will lay the wood on you. Because I'm pretty sure he has some amazing... He has 75 catch as well. How about the Super, Super Bowl version? Version. Oh, my bad. Where he got that long pick six. But yeah, 99 hit power. That's huge. And I also have Khalil Mack on the other side with 98 hit power. Have some big... Hard-hitting linebackers, which was my goal. So, okay, so these th three guys on my defensive line, I all got them today. I'll start with Darnell Dockett. I'm, I compared him to Mario Williams, and he was a lot better than Mario Williams. He was only Mario Williams is known for his speed. This guy only has two less speed than him. So I really like this Darnell Dockett pickup. Um, I've not played a game with him, honestly, but I'm really hoping he's good. Got him for about 40k. I sold Mario Williams for 35. And yeah, liking this upgrade, and I hope it works out. And now, before, I had 96 Nick Fairley and 95 Danny Shelton. And what I basically did was I sold both of them and got Marcel Darius. Because I sold both of them for about 75k. Then got, I think I got a nice price on him. I got Marcel Darius for 83,000 coins. And the, your second defensive tackle does not affect your team rating. But I really wanted Will Fork anyways, minus his rating. Because I really like um, his play rec and his you know just strength and power move. So I'm happy I got Will Fork and Marcel Darius. I, I basically got one of him instead of two like lesser defensive tackles for this. So I, it was the same price to get him pretty much as it was the two lesser defensive tackles. But I was going to keep Will Fork anyway. So like this guy, 99 strength as well. I have two 99 strength mammoths in the middle of my defensive line. Hopefully that pays off for me as well. Two guys with 98 power move and 99 power move. So yeah, that's my lineup guys. I'm really happy with my team where it's at right now. Um, my receiver's probably in my next upgrade. But I feel like I don't need, need, like, emphasis on I don't need any upgrades. But I'll just look around. And thanks for watching, guys. If you could like the video, I'd appreciate it a lot. If you have any comments regarding, my, you know, my team or Madden or any suggestions, like, I'm open to any con constructive criticism or anything like that about my team, please comment it down below. Subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you guys later.